What is Madhubani painting? What are its characteristics and how to identify these paintings? In today's video, we are going to discuss in detail the Madhubani art form, also popularly known as the Mithila painting. Let's get started. Madhubani is a folk art form that originated from the region of Mithila. This region comprises of parts of India and parts of Nepal and that is why this is called as Mithila painting. In India, in the region of Bihar, it is done in the Madhubani district and so we call it as Madhubani painting. It is a form of wall art done mostly by the women of Mithila region which means it includes women of both India and Nepal. When we talk about the subjects of these Mithila paintings, it covers a variety of subjects but the theme and style of these paintings remained constant almost because it was created and originated from a particular geographical location. So these subjects include religious subjects such as deities of Devi, Durga, Ram or scenes from epics. It also can have natural related subjects such as representing moon, fish, uh, bamboo, elephant and all the flora and fauna of nature. The next type of events is the social events where they represented events from the courtyard or wedding related subjects. There are typical characteristics for a Madhubani painting. For example, this is a Madhubani painting here and the characters or figures that are in the painting are always two dimensional like how you see the birds here, they are in 2D. Double lines are drawn for figures, flora and fauna. You can see the double lines that is going along the subject here. The areas inside the main subject are filled with colors or with intricate line works like these ones here. So there is no much shading as a whole. There are no empty spaces that is left or no gap is left. Basically, every cap is filled with leaves, flowers or geometric pattern. This includes the background as well, like how we have filled the background here with the leaves. The next important characteristic of the painting is having beautiful borders. The borders are filled with nature elements such as flowers, birds, animals or geometric patterns as well. Another important characteristic of this Madhubani painting is they have pointed nose for the figures and also they have big bulging eyes. That is how the figures are represented in Madhubani. Now let's talk about the material used in the Madhubani painting. Traditionally, the substrate of these paintings were freshly plastered mud walls and floors of huts. And for the painting materials, they used fingers, twigs, matchsticks, brush and nib pens. For the colors, rice paste is used to create the framework and the outline of the artwork. For the other colors, they use natural dyes and pigments that are mainly derived from plants. So for example, for black they use charcoal, for yellow they use turmeric, for variety shades of greens they use different leaves. For other colors to name a few they use henna leaves, marigold, hibiscus flower. So all these two derive various shades of these colors. Now let's see about the types of Madhubani painting. There are five distinct styles of Madhubani painting. The first one is Barni, which is filled with colors. This is one of the most famous and popular Madhubani style, where the enclosed areas are filled with colors, uh, which are very vibrant, such as blues, yellows, greens, pinks, oranges, etc and the subject are compulsorily outlined in black. The next is the Katni style, that is how that word is pronounced, where we do lot of line work and it is basically filled with only one or two colors or muted colors. These colors are only red, green or black. The figures or any objects in this painting are filled with hatching and stippling. So variety of patterns are made with these lines. The third distinct style is the Tantric style. In Tantric style, the subjects are mostly only in religious content, which means we depict Mahakali, Mahadurga, Mahalakshmi, Mahaganesh along with other Tantric symbols. 
the next one is the gondna style this is also called the tattoo style because this is the body motif art here rows of flowers field animals figures are drawn or even they are done in concentric circles the fifth distinct style of madhubani painting is the kobar style of painting in which the painting is traditionally done in a room bless the newly wed couples so it shows a lot of symbols for fertility to welcome the daughter in law into the home so the dominant theme for this painting is love and prosperity so you can see a lot of life forms in this painting let's talk about the conservation of this art form there are various artists who are primarily working only on madhubani paintings and they are continuously exhibiting throughout galleries in india The other point is that Indian railways have found an innovative way of preserving and spreading the word of this art form. They did a train makeover to trains the Bihar Sampar Kranti Express and Patna Rajdhani Express are painted with Madhubani paintings and this has made the train very colorful. There is also a Mithila museum in Japan which houses 850 Mithila paintings and it is located in Tokamachi in Japan. In the year 2000, India released postage stamps of Madhubani art. Here is one of them from my collection. Actually, India introduced five stamps of denomination 300 pais and 500 plus 1000 pais. This is a three rupee stamp. The stamps have Madhubani paintings made by women artists, and it also has the indication here saying that it is a Madhubani or Mithila painting. Let's see the current stage of Madhubani and how it has evolved through the years. Currently, we are not restricting Madhubani painting only to the wall. We have started doing it on papers, cloth, or even on canvases. And for the other materials used, now we mostly use brushes and nibs and even permanent marker pens for easiness. Also for the colors, Artists have started using acrylics, watercolors or even transparent photo colors. The themes have also changed from just representing different subjects to representing what is currently happening in the society. The other big point is that there are a lot of day-to-day -day objects that we daily use has these Madhubani paintings and motifs or symbols that is very specific to this type of or style of art. we can see it in pillow covers curtains bed spreads pots purses or bags and decorative items which uses these symbols or motifs for me personally madhubani is a very special art form where you can represent greatest expression with simplicity and not only that it makes you relax so much and it is very pleasurable in doing a madhubani painting So if you have not tried out Madhubani painting so far I would urge you to try one at least and let me know how did you feel when you do that painting If you have any questions post it in the comment section below and I'll personally answer each one of them To get more of these kind of informative videos do subscribe and stay in touch as I post regularly on this channel If you are interested in making your first Madhubani bookmark watch this video here See you in the next video until then bye from Madhula happy painting and have a great week